Well, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. This is Pastor T, Pastor Tony McGee, and I want to thank you for joining me for Pastor T's Daily Devotional. This month is Black History Month, so for the month of February, I'm going to share insights from the Tell the Story 40 Devotions with Reflections on Black History from our Daily Bread Ministries. Today's reflection and devotion is inspired from Tandra L. Loiter Jackson's Thirst and Responsibility. We will be learning about Mary McLeod Bethune. Psalm 78 and 4 says, We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. We will tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord. Mary McLeod Bethune, she is a shero for all Americans. She was the 15th of 17 children born to her parents in 1875. She was the first person in her family that was born free, and she was the first to become literate. Her parents, they valued education. However, the public schools in Maysville, South Carolina, they did not admit blacks into their school. So her parents, they sent Mary to Trinity Presbyterian Mission School for Negroes. Mary McLeod Bethune, she aspired to become a missionary in Africa. However, there wasn't a church that was willing to sponsor her. She didn't give up. She pressed forward and she redirected her zeal to educating black students in the United States. Mary became the first and only woman to found and to serve as president of a historically black college, Bethune-Cookman University, located in Daytona Beach, Florida. The legacy that she exemplifies and embodies is that of the 78th Psalm, which shares lessons from Israel's past. In Psalm 78 and 4, it says, Tell the next generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, His power and the wonders He has done. This extended to, as verse 6 indicates, even the children yet to be born who were to tell their children. Before she died, Mary McLeod Bethune wrote, My last will and testament, bequeathing a thirst for education and a responsibility to our young people. She said, if we have the courage and tenacity of our forebears who stood firmly like a rock against the lash of slavery, we shall find a way to do for our day what they did for theirs. Bethune foresaw that only by God's praiseworthy deeds and power could Bethune Cookman educate succeeding generations to preserve and overcome the challenges historically black colleges and universities would face? What are you facing today that requires your responsibility and courage? Today, we need to follow the example of Mary McLeod Bethune. Today, we need to have a thirst for education not only bettering ourselves, but bettering the lives of those who are coming behind us. We have a responsibility to serve as we stand on the shoulders of people like Mary McLeod Bethune. She was willing to extend herself to serve others. And we, we need to extend ourselves to serve others as well. We need to extend ourselves and be willing to help others. Today is not the time for us to be selfish, but to Today is the time for us to be selfless. We have to be willing to walk the talk and be willing to talk the talk while not just talking about it, but we have to be about it. If we want our young people to have a bigger, better, and brighter future, then we have to have a responsibility to pave the way. There has to be a thirst and there has to be a, thun a hunger for us. We have to have a desire to help, a desire to come alongside, a desire to educate and to elevate the future generation. Do you have a thirst? Do you have the courage? Do you want to come along and help our future generations? Today is the day for us to thirst. Today is the day for us 
to have courage. And today is the day for us to take action. Father, we thank you for helping us to realize that we need to have a thirst and a courage to help our future generations. We thank you for training our generations in your word. And we thank you and ask you to give us the courage to continue to fight the good fight of faith while helping our young people to have a bigger and a brighter future. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to thank you for tuning in to Pastor T's Daily Devotion. I pray that you were encouraged and that you were inspired. Please tune in during the weekdays as we will continue our daily diet of devotion. And just as a quick reminder, every Wednesday, every Wednesday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m., we have in-person Bible study at Zion Hope Church. Our series is Praying with Power a study on the Lord's Prayer in Matthew chapter 6. If you want your prayers to be powerful and if you want your prayers to be effective, then please join us. Also, if you'd like to worship with us, please join us every Sunday at Zion Hope Church. At 9.30 a.m., we have Sunday School at the Hope Cafe. At 11 a.m., we have in-person worship service as well as Children's Church and Teen Church. So please come and join us. And if you cannot attend in person, you can join us online on Zion Hope Church's YouTube channel and on Facebook Live. May God bless you, may God keep you, and may heaven smile upon you. Have a wonderful and a blessed day. Love you much. Pastor T.